Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today, in this video, we will learn about one of the code unit of the base application called Process Dialog. Right? As you can see from my screen, I have already opened this up, and this is the code unit ID one eight one five. And as I said, it's a part of the base application. Okay, so what exactly behind this code unit is that uh, Microsoft have uh, given us certain uh, functions which uh, through which we can uh, generate or we can use the progress bar functionality in our custom applications, right? So generally, uh, whenever we want to show any type of progress dialog box where user can see that something is processing in the backend and thus they have to wait until the percentage or the number reach to 100 from 1. So during that point of time, we generate this progress bar using the, uh, of course, uh, this data type called dialog, right? And this dialog data type is still available with us and through which we can uh, utilize this program, uh, develop this progress bar functionality, right? But now, uh, Microsoft is giving us uh, certain inbuilt functions which we can directly use in our custom applications and thus uh, we can build this progress functionality in just a seconds, right? So although uh, I will show you how to use them, but uh, basically uh, the thing is uh, it is still uh, not that very much uh, useful, I could say, through which like you can uh, use uh, you can use your custom messages or something like that. Why I'm saying because, for example, if you read this code, there are three functions available, open copy count uh, max, open copy count and update copy count, right? And if you read this, uh, it takes two variables. One of the variable is of text type and another one is max count, which is an integer, right? And they have used one variable for, uh, which they are initializing currently with zero and the standard dialog data type with the open method, what they are doing, they are passing this label, which says copying hash one, hash two out of hash three, right? So first of all, I like to inform you that uh, maybe some of you don't know about it, but the thing is initially during the Navision days or till the business central version 14, by which uh, we have the RTC available, Windows client available, Okay, so at that point of time, other than the hash, we can use at the rate as well. And the difference is that when we use at the rate in the text labels, uh, system show us the progress bar in the percentage, like 20% is completed, 30% is completed, 40%, 99%, something like that, right? But now uh, this at the rate is gone with the business central web client okay versions from the 15 so you cannot use at the rate but yes hash is still available and uh, the the biggest limitation i could say is this uh, for example this word called copying right this copying is the is a part of the standard uh, base object so thus you cannot remove this right and certain times when you want to build your applications you don't want the copying thing like that Right, so that's why I'm saying, but uh, of course, let's try to use these functions in your custom application and see how we can utilize them. Okay, so uh, this is my custom page and uh, I've already created some variables. So let's write, let's write some code here. Okay, so progress bar and you can see three uh, functions are coming up. Let's use the first function, open copy count and what it takes it takes the text type okay so i can write down like uh, processing okay or if any particular string you want to use you can use that and then the next function is let's use this progress bar dot update copy count so first open copy count which means that it will open the dialog box Okay, and then update means that it will update. In this update, we cannot use anything. There is no type. Basically, system, uh, the standard code is already written that it initialize 
this current rec count variable with one and there's uh, it will update the windows accordingly right with the current record count only okay so that's why we cannot use this but of course if i write this uh, you will not be able to see the prompt because it will open and it will update uh, 200 and immediately it will go right so we have to add certain code so that we can see the output okay so that's why i have used this integer variable and uh, let's use a loop called for i is equal to 1 to 100 sorry begin okay progress bar dot update copy count then let's leave the system for 100 okay so let's remove this line and now basically we can see that what type of output this update function will generate for us and that is why only I use this for loop. Okay, otherwise there is no uh, point of using this line. Okay, let's uh, uh, create another action button through which we will see the use case of second function. Okay, command C and let me paste. Okay, so uh, I think one, this one I think it's too closed. Okay, and name, let me change the name to progress bar one. And the caption should be progress bar two. Okay, I think uh, it will create confusion. So let me change it to one and progress bar as one and this one is progress bar two right so most of the things is gonna same only thing i will use here the different function which is this time open copy count max and if you see it takes two parameters first is the text type and second one is the max count as the name suggests max count is of integer type so maximum is 100 so what we can do is that uh, let's use this time counting and 100 right so rest of the code is same no need to change anything so let's compile and build your application and let's push this okay so with this two functions which are a part of the standard application we will see that how uh, each function gives us a different type of output plus uh, we will see one limitation as well i could say uh, maybe microsoft uh, will will hone this uh, in the upcoming version this code unit they will add more functions inside of it because of various types of requirements uh, in the custom functionalities okay so let's click on the search button and type here test page the name of my custom page click on it so here you can see i have two functions available so first i click on progress bar one and now you can see copying processing 2831 so this is the standard text which you cannot change this is the custom text which I added and then the count is going to from 1 to 100. You don't have any control over it that you can change or something like that, right? If you want to see again, I can run this again and you can see copying, sender text, processing my custom text and this number, you don't have any control. I have not written any code which is incre which increase the count of this. It's a current record count variable which I showed you here right this is what is going on there okay so now this is the output of the first function let's see the output of the second function 
Now you can see a little bit difference, whereas copying is the standard, counting is my custom. Then this is the current record count out of 100. 100 is the number which I passed, which I pass as a max count. So if I pass it as a 200, so it will go till 200. Okay, so that is the case. Let me run again. So basically we have a control over this text and over this number that till when I want that current record count variable should go right so this is the way this both functions you can utilize in your custom functionalities which you are building for your business central application by just using these two functions out of the box right i have not written any sort of uh, multiple code which you have to write by using a dialog data type although the dialog data type is still available if i want to show you window right so this is still very much active with all this function like close open update right so you can use them as well and when you use them you 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 have the uh, availability of uh, you you have all the uh, things which you can use in this open function uh, and pass multiple parameters accordingly based on your requirement okay so that is the case but of course if you don't want to show your uh, customer multiple varieties of information in the dialog box then i think this is very very good uh, good uh, way of utilizing the standard uh, standard uh, functions in your custom application and write minimal code to give the maximum or to generate the maximum output right so with that note uh, I just want to close this uh, today's video call uh, sorry today's video and in case you like it please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video